You're up early. Huh? I said you're up early. Mm, no, you slept in. It's past 8. It's 6.30. No, 6.30 was when I unplugged your clock to plug in my stereo. I would have used one of my own sockets, but uh, they were full. Oh, and I forgot to plug it back in. Sorry. What? <sighs> Did the brain fairy come and take yours during the night? What were, what were you thinking? Look, don't get your PJs in the knot. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll plug it in before I leave. I was supposed to be up at 6.30 to study. We have a test today? No, but some students actually want to learn. They don't just get up at the last minute to study for a test. That someone would be you? There's another someone who should be a little bit more considerate of other people's property. And there's another couple of someones who should hurry up because they're going to be late. You said it was 8. And no, I said it was past 8. <laughs> Better hurry. 
That'll be all, Miss Baxter. I don't expect to see you back here anytime soon. Next time, we'll be in detention. Have you seen Marshall? No. I've been hiding back here, alone where it's safe. Today has been the worst day of my life, and I haven't even been up for four hours. We all have bad days. <sighs> well, I don't. Were you asking me about Marshall? Oh, yeah. So, in an effort to be cool, Marshall's trying out a new hairstyle. So when you see him, be kind. Of course I'll be kind. I'm not totally tactless. Hey, Corinne. Where were you? Our history project? You gave me a huge lecture about not bailing, and you're the no-show. Oh, man, I totally forgot. Well, don't worry about it. I finished it myself and handed it in. What? My grade depends on that. What were you doing in there? Um, nothing. What is in your hand? Um, also nothing. Oh, this, this. It's a midterm paper. You stole a midterm paper off your teacher's desk? Well, yes, but, um, Vaughn turned it in and I didn't get to do my part of the work. And a lot of my grade depends on it and... And why didn't you do your part? Well, I missed my work session with him. I was just gonna fix it so we get a better grade. I mean, if your grade depended on Vaughn, what would you do? I'd give you a detention. <sighs> this is the worst day of my life. I wanna come check out the full moon? No. What I'd like for you is to stop pretending everything's okay after the day you've caused. Me. Yes, you. You unplugged my alarm clock, you stole my pencil, and it's ruined my entire life. I did all that. This is a big day for me. Must be why I'm so tired. Good night. And I didn't steal your pencil. You did. And don't touch my clock. <laughs> It's past eight. Did you touch my clock? No, just the plug. <sighs> I told you not to touch it. No way. You were asleep when I got up. In fact, you were snoring. No, I wasn't. Whatever. You better hurry. Wouldn't want to be late. Late? Oh, no. Not again. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I do this yesterday? <sighs> Whoa! Hey! Miss Baxter! Sorry! That's right, a pop quiz. Oh. Is there a problem, Grant? I, I don't have a pencil. Here, you can borrow one of mine. You mean the one with my name on it? Small world. All right, the quiz begins now. 